Jose? Hi, this is the first interview stage for the HR business partner role. Right. If you want to take a seat and yes, that's just relax. As well. Being interviewed for a job can be a nerve wracking experience, but by following a few simple rules, your nerves will be replaced by confidence that will allow you to shine and give you every opportunity of being selected for the role. Let's get the basics out of the way first. You need to walk into the interview unflustered. So make sure you prepare for your journey beforehand and ensure you arrive a few minutes early. Allow for possible travel delays. Think about where you're going to park and ensure you have a contact number for the company just in case there's a problem. Jose? Hi. Good morning. You need to look right. Always wear appropriate business wear. Ensure you are well groomed with tidy hair, clean shoes and clothing. Good morning, Debbie. Yes, it is. Hello. 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 Do not wear too much perfume or aftershave and keep makeup, jewellery and nail varnish simple. You also need to have a clear idea of your first moves. Remember a strong positive handshake and plan your greeting. Hi. Good morning, I'm Danny Gilbert from Wright Brothers. I'm the Group Operations Director here. Hi, Hi I'm Gemma Stirrup. from Head of HR for Wright Brothers. You need to have a clear idea of what you're walking into. There are different types of interviews panel interviews, one-to-one -one interviews and group interviews. So ask your consultancy beforehand what form the interview will take. You may be asked to take a psychometric or aptitude test before your interview. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Remember to smile and be polite to all the staff you meet, including those at the consultancy. They are an important link in the recruitment process and may influence a decision later on. Right then, if you'd like to come this way. Yes, OK, thanks. I'll hold the door for you. Thank you. Do not accept tea or coffee unless you feel comfortable as it can get in the way. And if you are carrying papers, uh, make sure you carry them in a suitable case or folder. Of course, the things that we have learned so far are there just to ensure a confident start. For the interview itself, there's no getting away from the need to meticulously prepare. I noticed um, from the internet that this is a well-established company. I also noticed from the job description it was quite a varied role and I believe that that, uh, that would find, you know, I'd find that quite challenging. Make sure you know about the company. Find out as much as possible about them by using their website, asking your consultancy for information and looking to gain appropriate literature. And I saw from the job description uh, that there was opportunity um, in the absence of the head of HR that you would actually step in. And moving forward then having one-to-ones on an individual basis with managers, um, I understand some of them might be on site so it's actually going to where they actually work. During the interview, be prepared for different questioning techniques. Okay, and can you sum yourself up in three words? Open questions, such as tell me about yourself, rely on you doing most of the talking. Jose, we have a, quite a challenging management team here. How would you approach building successful working partnerships with our line management population, both on-site and remotely? Um, I think initially you need to understand where the business is, where it's coming from, what the business objectives, values and the vision is, and then finding out what's been cascaded to the managers in terms of their business objectives. Closed questions, require direct answers. And what's your notice period? One month. On your CV, you mentioned that you've been involved in policy development. So talk me through uh, your, your experience in that particular area. That's right. In actual fact, the policies haven't been rewritten for quite some time. So in um, July 2008, we relaunched the company policies after the, everything had been reviewed. Know your CV. Take time to think about your skills, qualifications and experiences. Can you tell me a little bit more about your Tupi experience? Um, I've got experience in and out of organisations. Um, in terms of Tupi in experience I've had, it's been about 30 people. Um, so that's bringing people from other organisations into um, the current organisation I'm working for. And in terms of out, um, I've had about 150 was the latest number that I had. Find out what the job specifications are so that you can show how you meet them. I am also very commercially focused and coming from a retail background. Sell yourself. Make sure the employer knows the benefits of employing you. I think I'm a creative thinker, um, far-sighted um, but enthusiastic. And it was just amazing the change in that person. Yeah. Don't forget to be positive. Don't give negative information or bad news unless asked for it. And don't criticise previous employers or jobs. 
turn negative information into positive information. Whilst I've um, really enjoyed my time at the business and my manager has been very good in terms of development for myself, um, I do believe that I'm at a time where I'm ready to move on. Hey, say, do you have any questions for us? Um, yes, I've got a couple of questions. Um, what do you expect from the uh, manager in this position in the first three to six months? Prepare some questions to ask at the interview, such as details of the job and the organisation. Um, and do you have any other questions at this point? Um, yes, I, I do actually, yes. Um, in terms of, because I am interested in clearly develop, uh, developing within the business, what um, development opportunities would there be within the business? Let your interviewer talk. There's, there's quite a few actually, I and mean, it's a good question to ask. Um, yeah. With the terms of the setup of the department, um, I run a department of eight, um, eight HRBPs. Oh, um, just one question that I do have as well is, how would the position of the HR business partner contribute to, to our business? Good. Ask how the job contributes to the success, efficiency and profitability of the organisation. And I particularly would be interested in this role as well. Let the interview know that you're really interested in the position. I think that the company seems a nice company on first impressions and I, you know, I would really be keen to take the job if, um, if it was to go forward. Yeah. Um, when will I hear about whether I've been successful? And don't forget to find out what the next stage will be. OK, thank you. That was all the questions I had. That's great. It's lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you, Jose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Good for to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Of course, every interview is different. But by preparing well, arriving unflustered and well presented, and knowing what to expect when you walk into the room, you'll significantly increase your chances of being offered the role. After the interview, let us know how you thought it went. We can provide feedback which can prove invaluable if you're unsuccessful. And when you are successful, yet the offer isn't quite what you expected, do let us know. And remember, everything is negotiable. That's why we're here. Brilliant. Thank you for your time yes, today. You have to say, Jen. Okay, look forward to hearing from yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.